Welcome to Creative Live's Quick Tips. I'm your instructor, Ben Wilmore. Let's take a look at how to resize images in Photoshop. First, I'd like to use this image for the internet, so let's resize it for that. Many images are high resolution where they have a lot more information than what's needed to show it on a website. To resize the image, I would choose Image, Image Size, and that brings up this dialog with a lot of settings on the right, but most of which can be ignored. You can resize this by grabbing the lower left corner and pulling on it, and that's what I'd like to do to make it take up most of my screen. Then at the bottom of the preview image is a percentage, and I need that percentage to read 100% because that indicates the size this will appear on the internet. If it's any other size, you're not seeing how big it will be on the internet. So I want to click the plus and minus signs in the bottom down here until that indicates 100%. That's obviously too big for this image, unless somebody's got a huge screen. So on the right side, here's how we'll resize. I first need to make sure a checkbox called Resample is turned on. That allows Photoshop to change the amount of information in the file. And then, over here I see a width and height. If I simply click on the number that's there and use the down arrow key on my keyboard, or I can type in various numbers like 1000, it will show me a preview on the left side of my screen of how large that would appear on the internet. And so either typing in various numbers if we're way off in size to get it smaller, or once I've clicked on the number using the up and down arrow keys, once it ends up showing me the size I actually want to see it on the internet, all I need to do is click OK, and this is resized for the internet. But the only time we're going to see that size here in Photoshop is if we view the image at 100% view. To get to 100% view, on the left side of your screen in the Tools panel, there is a magnifying glass. When you're in the magnifying glass tool, at the top of your screen is a button called 100%. That's internet size. So if you wanted to resize to the internet, you're perfectly good to go. Now let's resize for printing. So I'll choose undo. So we get back to the original size of the image. And now we'll go back to the image menu and choose image size once again. And this time, instead of seeing it for the internet, let's think about printing. So on the right side of my screen, I'm going to change my measurement system to however I'd like to measure my print. In this case, let's say we're going to use inches, and I would like this image to be about 10 inches wide. So here I'll type in 10. In Photoshop, we'll scale the image to make it exactly 10 inches wide. But then, if it's for printing, we also need to specify a number right here called resolution. And resolution determines how big the little squares that make up my image will be when they're printed. If that number is too low, then your image can look jaggy, also known as being pixelated. So to give you a general guide for that, first let me type in the number I might use. 300 would be fine. I'll click OK, and then I'll show you the general ranges you should use for various kinds of printing. For a desktop printer, this is the acceptable range of resolutions. If you go any higher than this, your file size is just much larger than what you need. If you go any lower than this, then your image might start looking a little bit jaggy on your printout. And then here it is for other kinds of commercial printing. The time I would tend towards the high settings is any time you have very crisp edges in your image, like little crisp lines, like guitar strings, uh, that type of thing. Or if you have any text in a sign that's in a photograph, that's where it would be closest to having the little jaggies, those really high contrast lines, then I would tend towards the high settings. Otherwise, you can go anywhere in that range. Now, if when you go to image size, you find that you type in the width that you want, in this case, I type in 10 inches, but the height isn't what you need, then this screen can only resize. It cannot crop. So you could instead choose Photoshop's crop tool. And if you use the crop tool in Photoshop at the top left of your screen, you can tell it that you would like a specific width, height, and resolution. So let's say I wanted 10 inches wide. You can type 10 and then IN for inches. Go to the next field and type in 8 IN for inches. And right here is the resolution, taking the numbers from that, uh, those suggested ranges. 
Once I've typed that in, now I can choose which portion of the image I would like to include because now I'm getting a rectangle of the right proportions for what I've asked for. And I can either click the checkbox up here or press the return or enter key on my keyboard to resize my image in Photoshop. If you want to learn a ton more about Photoshop, then look at my complete course on Creative Live, Photoshop CC, the complete guide. Thanks for watching.